Effective sales qualification techniques are essential for identifying high potential leads and optimizing the sales process. Here are some key techniques to ensure that your sales team focuses on the most promising prospects. Firstly, implement the BANT framework. BANT stands for Budget, Authority, Need, and Timeline. Assess whether the prospect has the budget to purchase, the authority to make the decision, a genuine need for your product or service, and a realistic timeline for making the purchase. This framework helps prioritize leads based on their potential to convert. Secondly, use the CHAMP approach. CHAMP stands for Challenges, Authority, Money, and Prioritization. Identify the challenges the prospect faces, confirm their authority to make purchasing decisions, ensure they have the financial capacity, and understand how high the purchase is on their priority list. This approach focuses on addressing the prospect's pain points and aligning your solution accordingly. Thirdly, apply the GPC-TBA, C&I, method. GPC-TBA, C&I, stands for goals, plans, challenges, timeline, budget, authority, and consequences and implications. This comprehensive technique involves understanding the prospect's goals, current plans, challenges, timeline, budget, and decision-making authority, as well as the consequences of not addressing their needs and the implications of implementing your solution. Fourthly, leverage spin selling. Spin stands for situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. This technique involves asking questions to understand the prospect's situation, identifying specific problems, discussing the implications of these problems, and highlighting the benefits of solving them with your product or service. Spin selling helps build a deeper connection with the prospect by focusing on their pain points and desired outcomes. Fifthly, use MEDDIC for complex sales. MEDIC stands for Metrics, Economic Buyer, Decision Criteria, Decision Process, Identify Pain, and Champion. This technique is particularly useful for enterprise sales, as it emphasizes understanding the prospect's metrics for success, identifying the economic buyer, knowing the decision criteria and process, identifying the prospect's pain points, and finding a champion within the organization who advocates for your solution. Sixthly, conduct thorough research. Before engaging with a prospect, research their company, industry, and specific needs. Understanding their business context enables you to tailor your pitch and demonstrate how your solution addresses their unique challenges. Seventhly, ask open-ended questions. Encourage prospects to share detailed information about their needs, challenges, and goals. Open-ended questions facilitate meaningful conversations and uncover valuable insights that can inform your sales strategy. Eighthly, qualify leads through initial contact. Use discovery calls or meetings to gather essential information about the prospect. Ask targeted questions to determine if they meet your ideal customer profile and assess their readiness to move forward in the sales process. Ninthly, leverage lead scoring. Implement a lead scoring system that assigns points based on specific criteria, such as demographic information, engagement level, and behavior. This quantitative approach helps prioritize leads and allocate resources effectively. Lastly, continuously review and refine your qualification process. Regularly evaluate your sales qualification techniques and adjust them based on feedback and results. Staying flexible and responsive to changing market conditions ensures that your qualification process remains effective and efficient. By employing these techniques, sales teams can effectively identify high potential leads, streamline their efforts, and increase conversion rates. A well-structured qualification process enhances the efficiency of the sales cycle and drives business growth.